comes to mind uh, problems. It's always problems whether it's the abortion or the respiratory problems that it causes or uh, anything, anything really gets worse when Perez is around. Frustrating. I think that the, the first word which came to me is frustrating. When I hear about the Perez disease, I think of a lot of frustrations for producers and veterinarians over the years. It seems like the virus is often one step ahead of us. Problems because the introduction of the disease in, in a farm is really a, a dramatic situation. And challenges because this is one of the most challenging uh, diseases in, in the big world. Frustrating, it's uh, crippling. I mean, PERS has been for us one of the most devastating disease that we have dealt in the last 20 years. Devastating is certainly one of the most important ones, but at the same time, Enigma. It has been an enigmatic disease. Abortions, uh, weak uh, pigs, uh, early farrowings, uh, problems in the nursery. Panic could be the first one because uh, once you have just the disease on your farm, you are panicking. Something that's a mixture between panic and frustration and disappointment in the producer and in the uh, staff working inside the farm. Economic loss. From the uh, United States point of view, it's been published 500 million, oh, now over 600 million dollars of loss annually in the United States wine industry due to PERS. So economic loss, I think, has to be at the top of the list. <laughs> 